Good afternoon. I'm Jimmy Abraham, and on behalf of the 1996 Orientation student staff, I'd like to welcome you to their skit and song performance. We're very glad that you're with us. We, we appreciate your taking time out of your busy schedule to be with us, and I know and I can assure you that these students are appreciative as well. I want to take just a couple of minutes and talk with you about the conference and why these students perform skits and songs and why they do what they do during orientation. On March the 22nd, we attended the Southern Regional Orientation Workshop. We attended this workshop at Hammond, Louisiana, at Southeastern Louisiana University. The Southern Regional Orientation Workshop is better known uh, as SRO. Now, at this conference, we have the opportunity to attend workshops and learn about what other institutions are doing and also share ideas about our orientation program at Mississippi State. In 1985, friendly competitions began between the institutions that, that are participating. This year, Mississippi State University placed third in the song competition and placed second in the spirit competition. They did not perform their skit at the workshop because they could only perform either the song or the skit, and they voted on to do their song. The Spirit Competition is a very neat award for institutions. We had 60 schools participating at this conference, and each school is given a vote. And we play second in that competition, and it's not just yelling and screaming, it's good sportsmanship, congeniality, interaction with other student groups as well. In other words, peers selected peers as a second place finish. We performed the song at SRO, and I think you'll see when I talk about the qualifications of the song, how they met them entirely. We get no outside help whatsoever on the skit and the song, none. Everything that you're going to see this afternoon takes place within the group. Other institutions do not do that. Some of my colleagues tell me that they have assistant directors or associate directors, people from the communication department helping their students. We do not. Not only do they do an outstanding job that you'll see, but it's also a great team building exercise for our orientation students. Since the competition began in 1985, Mississippi State University has consistently done well. They have placed in the top four each year since 1985 and have won the competition overall seven out of 11 times. This year, they did not give an overall winner the, the award. They didn't have it. They just gave awards for skits, song, spirit, and so forth. Had they given an overall uh, trophy this year, it would have been back at Mississippi State University. We were the only institution that placed in the top uh, three, cap placed uh, first, second, and third in two of the three categories. Mississippi State University did. There was another institution that placed first and fourth, however, the way they do their score in Mississippi State University would once again have brought home the trophy. Let me briefly tell you a little bit about the guidelines. The song could be no longer than four minutes and must be entertaining, provide information about the institution or orientation program, and show creativity and effort in preparation. The skit should be no longer than six minutes and should show creativity and have meaningful application and humor. And spirit, as we talked about, was based on intergroup interaction, congeniality, and good sportsmanship. These students began January 16th on working on their skit and song. We divided them up into subcommittees. Subcommittees got together on January 26th with the full group at breakfast, and we talked about what we'd like to do at this conference. They talked about it, voted, and they decided which what, what song and what skit they were going to do, and that's when the work really began. I want you to know, and those of you that have been here before, this is our fourth annual performance at Mississippi State for orientation leaders to show off their skit and song, so to speak, that they work awfully hard on this. It's very difficult to get students together, and students in the audience, you know that. Many times they were up 5, 30, 6 o'clock in the morning, 10, 30, 11, midnight at night working on this because it took some work. And I'm very proud of them, and I know the university is very proud of them as well. Not only did they represent you well on the stage at SRO, they represented you well off the stage, I can assure you. And they're going to do the same job this summer for our incoming students and their parents as they continue their preparation for what this orientation program is really all about. At this time, I'll open the curtains and the orientation staff will perform their Happy Day skit. After the skit, we're very fortunate to have with us today Ms. Courtney Lott. Courtney was recently selected as Miss Mississippi State University 
and will represent this institution at the Miss Mississippi pageant this coming July. Courtney, by the way, was an orientation leader in 1994, so she's well aware of the preparation that these students have gone through today. She'll entertain you with a couple of songs, and then we'll open the curtains back up and let you see their song. Hope you enjoy the show. <coughs> Every day is a happy day here at Mississippi State. These happy days! 